Hey everybody, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. You always do such a great job. Well, thank you. I gotta tell you, we're gonna do a salmon recipe today. So as much as I love to shop at Kroger's, Food Line's just up the street from us, so I shot down this morning, got some groceries, and I picked up a package of coho salmon. And I'm walking out of the place and there's this guy stocking shelves and stuff. He works there all the time. He's just a great guy. I wish I could remember his name. He's a general manager or something of the store. And I want to say hi to him and thank you to him because I said, what's a good recipe for salmon? He said, go back in our meat department and ask for Frankie. He loves to cook and I guarantee he'll have a recipe for this. I was going to whip up something with some brown sugar and soy sauce, maybe a glaze or something. He says, hey, let me show you something. So he takes me over to the honey department. And they got, you know, regular honey on the shelf, and then they got some cinnamon honey and stuff. And he reaches up and he gets a little bottle. He said, here's the best part. This is only 89 cents, and it's Shiraka flavored honey. So we're going to give it a try. Frankie, I'm coming down to get some more recipes from you because this is some great ideas right here. Come on over. Let's get started. Before I start this recipe, I did want to tell you something. I asked Frankie, because king salmon is really only available a couple of months out of the year, what about coho salmon? He said, actually a little bit longer season, but the best part is this company right here. And he's really high on them. It's Inland Market. He said, they got great seafood. They got great fish. He says, and it comes in frozen. So we can kind of extend the availability to all our customers longer because we take it out of the freezer, put it in the refrigerator section. He said, it's really great product and we can have it almost all year long. So let's open this up and get started. First of all, let's spray our little bacon dish here. Get a nice coating on the bottom so it doesn't stick. Then we're going to lay our salmon in here, our nice, beautiful piece of coho salmon. By giving this just a little bit of garlic powder on here, just a little dusting. And again, Frankie, thank you very much for the recipe. A little bit of garlic on there, not too much. And then Old Bay seasoning. Wow, what a great idea. So simple and so easy and so delicious once we get the glaze on here in about 10 minutes. Now we have our oven heated to 375 degrees. He said go a little bit higher than 350 to like 375 to give it more of a kind of a sear as it cooks here. But I think that's enough. Just a dusting of that Old Bay as well. So let's move this into our oven at 375 degrees. See you in 10 minutes. Now I just got this salmon out of the oven, 375 degrees. It's sliding around in there, which means it's not sticking. That's great. Getting ready to put the glaze on. There's a couple things I want to mention. First of all, it's kind of thick, so I thought I'll read the instructions. And on the package it said 15 to 20 minutes, so I left it in there 15. That's the stage we're at right now, and I'm going to use the last five minutes to do the glaze. With all that said, come on over. Let's glaze this up. Well, this is looking really good with the juices coming out of the edge. It's time for our 89-cent bottle of Shiraka-flavored honey to put on there as a little glaze. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how well I can drizzle this around on here. And then I might use my handy dandy little brush. Let me put a little more on there. Yeah, it looks about good right there. It's just kind of because it's so hot, it's just kind of melting right down over there. But I am going to use my little basting brush here to kind of coat it on there real good. Man, I'll tell you, Frankie, you have no idea how much Sheila loves salmon. She could eat it twice a week, so she is going to love this recipe. Get our glaze on there. And look how that just slides around in the bottom of the dish there, which is just great. Okay, five more minutes in the oven at our 375 degrees, and we should have a finished product that's delicious. See you then. Oh man, it's been five more minutes and look at how delicious that looks. I got something else that looks just delicious. Is my little bed of rice with some vegetables. I bought a bag of frozen vegetables. You just pour them in a dish, put them in the microwave with about a half a cup of water and they steam up just nice. We're going to lay that salmon on here if we can. See if I can get this done. Let me get this little wooden paddle to kind of help me here. And see, look at this. It just slides so nice because we sprayed that dish real good. 
All right, all right, get over there. Don't fall apart. I got subscribers that want to see some good looking stuff. Oh man, hold on a second, I ain't done yet. Look at here, will you? Just wait a second, I got something else I want to do. I want to rake this glaze that's down in the bottom of this dish and kind of drizzle it on there. If you don't mind, yes, I know. Don't that look terrific? Now remember, you can just use honey. If you're afraid of the of the spice, and I gotta tell you, I already licked that little brush here a, while, a little while ago, and it's not too spicy for me, and I don't think it's gonna be too spicy for Sheila. In fact, Frankie said, hey, if you use this stuff, it's it's a little hotter than black pepper, but not like a hot pepper pepper. And it's got just a wonderful, wonderful taste. Now let me garnish this with a couple slices of lemon. Maybe put one down on this end. How about one down on this end? Yeah, I think that looks just good. In fact, I have another lemon that I cut in half, and I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice in amongst all that other stuff. And I'm telling you what, Frankie from Food Lion in Nashville, Tennessee, look what you have created. Is that fantastic or what? Just before we go to a wide shot, oh, look at this. Let me turn this so you can see this, Sheila. Look at that salmon flaking, just so nice. Time for a little taste test here. Wow. That is just spectacular. Let me turn it back around here so we can close the show and Sheila can get a bite of this. Wow, if you think I'm not going back down to the meat department at Food Lion and bug Frankie for some more recipes, you're crazy. A little bit of that dusting across the top of your salmon with some garlic powder, a little bit of dusting with that Old Bay seasoning, bake it for 15 minutes if it's a thick piece like this, put on your Shiraka flavored honey, as a glaze, another five minutes, man, put it on a bed of rice with some veggies, you really got something here. And I really hope you enjoy our recipes because we do them just for you guys, and we hope you subscribe to our channel as well. A little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here just a little bit. When it does, click on it. Next to the word subscribe is that little bell. Click on the notification bell, then you'll get all of our recipes. We hope you do that as well. Over here, we're going to put up another recipe that we hope you enjoy, and is this the best Shiraka honey glazed Salmon you ever ate? Boy, if it ain't, it ought to be. Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila. Say goodnight, Sheila. Good night, Sheila. Right here, hoping you'll cook with us next time on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now. Sheila, come over here. You've got to try this. You're going to love it.